I'm going to flip it. Hi guys, it's Catherine with Blue Waters Relocation and we're doing Dr. Fred Spies' estate sale today online. And so how it works is if you want something, um, you can just send me a message or text me and say the number the item is, the price it is, and the fact that it is, um, and uh, so the price, what it is, and, that fa and the fact that it's sold. So after the video is over, I'll send you an invoice with the address and when you can come pick it up and the total price. Um, so, hey, Cheryl. Anyway, so, um, so come on and take a look. And I'm gonna start for the scientists out there at Scripps Oceanography. I'm gonna start with the stuff that is Scripps related so, um, so you guys can get back to doing your stuff. That's way more important than this estate sale. But um, so here we go. Um, and the books are gonna be here, but you need to come in tomorrow because it's too hard to do them online. Um, okay, so I'm turning it around and I'm bringing you guys in the house. The house was designed by Russell Forrester as part of the, um, as part of the Scripps uh, Oceanography Estate. In fact, um, this, okay, so I'm gonna just start with this item. It's $1,000. It is a mission style fume hood and it was part of the original, it was a laboratory hood and it was from the old Scripps building when they restored it. And F Sally and Fred Spies were leaders in the old historic Scripps uh, landmark building. And so this right here, and this is a view taken from Dr. Claude Zobel, another noted uh, marine biologist. He actually is the father of marine microbiology. This is taken from his old property before the script, before the pier at Scripps. Anyway, that photograph is going to the family um, of Dr. of Dr. Zobel, but the this the frame around it is part of the hood here for the uh, mission style old fume hood. And what so what the scientists would do is they would come under here, pull down the glass, and then do their chemical work and so the fumes would escape. Um, so right now there is also part of the old Scripps building. There is this item. It is number uh, 80 and it is an architectural prism. Now this was in the old Scripps building as well and what it did was before the advent of electric light or even once there was electric light but it was incredibly expensive, it would add light to the lower reaches or to the areas that were darker. Um, so that is item number 80. We're gonna go out of order in our numbers because of um, the situation. So here is item number 79, and it was the Scripps Institute Fume Hood Desk, and it's $1,000. Um, but this thing is, it's a solid wall, basically, of, of um, desk. And, and it, this part it attaches. Okay, so that was the main script stuff that we have besides like paperwork and, uh, you know, small like samples and pipettes and stuff like that, like antique, um, antique science stuff. Um, but I'm, those don't have a number. Those don't have a number. Okay, so we're going to start. So number 95 is this vintage suitcase. Um, it's around, it's like for a hat box. It's... Uh, it's got the Spies name initial on there. That's number 95, it's $10. The, the, uh, it's not, you know, in the best of shape. Okay, so number 94 is $35, and it's this whole shelf, a collection of frogs with yellow eyes, a wooden fish, um, a money frog, um, a handmade frog, some what look to be Hungarian Easter eggs, some dolls, you know, some oh and this actually I really love this horse right here so this entire shelf is $35 now we're moving on to shelf number 93 for $20 and we have like an antique uh, Inuit you know dog mushing sled but without the dogs a bean bag with Santa's face a wonder picatoon and just some other toys and that is $20 now we're going on to item number 92. It's $40 and it is a collection, a kind of a pretty huge collection of dominoes, marbles, antique marbles, and jacks. Do you guys remember playing jacks? I love jacks. Jacks is a really fun game. And then plus all of these 
tons and tons of cards, um, tons and whole big box of cards. Okay, so down here, we go down one more shelf. Now this is shelf number 91 and it is $50, and we've got, so we've got in this shelf, it's all this stuff, it's like tons of like games, and game pieces, and, um, and this, this set of poker, these are not, um, you know, Bakelite, but it's a cool old poker set, um, and in here, this is really, these are really great because a lot of these pieces, a lot of these games pieces are Bakelite, like a lot of the dice, a lot of, um, you know, just different, you know, chess pieces, just game pieces, you know, for anybody who's like a game collector. And then this cool cribbage board. I love cribbage. I don't know if anybody ever plays, but it's a fun game. Um, and then we've got this, which is like a, a boggle game. And then we've got Spill and Spell. That's a really important game. But this is my favorite, actually. It comes in this cute little wicker box, and it's this whole box of letters. And so, like, if you want to be smart, like Dr. Spies, I suggest you buy some of his old toys because some of maybe his mojo will rub off. So that's number 91. It's $50. And, okay, so on to the next thing. Okay, so this is a really great thing right here. This is item number, item number, what item is this? Oh, 78. Now this is Paul McCobb, and that's spelled wrong, but it's Paul McCobb, um, it's two chairs. There, It's the planner group. There are two chairs. Now they definitely need, um, they definitely need to be refinished in addition to the table, because this was really well-loved and well-used by Dr. Spies. Now, if you were to buy this group, like refinished, it would be about $3,000. So, um, so you can just, um, you can just, um, think about that. Cause look at those cool splayed legs, you know, and it is, you know, he's a significant American designer. So now I'm getting some texts as we're going along and I can't answer them as I'm doing this sale because it's, you know, I can't do two things at once. So once the sale's over, I'll tell you what your totals are and if you got the item because we're getting some good bids in. Um, okay, so now we've got, here's some items. I just went through the table. So if I don't say a number on the item, you can just text me like, hey, Catherine, that Plymouth car catalog I'm really interested in, um, how much is it after the sale is over? So just send me a text or send me a message here on Facebook. Um, because we have a lot of really great things. So now this right here is an old California box. It's number 90, and it's got the mission there with a palm tree and a succulent, and it's got the words California embedded. And this is probably, wait, you can't read it from that side. At least I couldn't. Well, anyway, it says California. Believe, you have to believe me. And it's $35. It's $90. Um, and I have my very lovely assistant here, Susan, helping me. <laughs> Her hands, you'll notice that we wear gloves around here because we are very careful about the coronavirus. Okay, so now, continuing in this room, we have got this great, cute painting, number 89, by, um, this is by an artist named Chris Chrysler, and he was active in a local, um, a local artist scene here in California, in La Jolla, in the 1970s and 80s. He's really great. I'm selling all of his work at another sale, but if you want this piece, we thought it just kind of coincided with our theme of antique toys. Number 89 at $50. And it's really cute. And it's probably, what, like 10 by 8? Something like that? Yeah. Okay, so on to more toys here. So number 88, it's $100. Now this is a huge collection of like a variety of antique toys. We've got this Swedish troll doll. We've got, you know, a bow tie with bells. We've got a troll that's got sort of a short haircut. We've got a, a wooden thing, which I know it's for a game, but I just don't know which game it is. We've got a big box of blocks. We've got these charming little um they're like glass cover they're like uh, there's a little bottom to them with chickens too there's some you know antique pieces here a lot of wood toys a cute little holcomb like is it a it's like a little house and you put the blocks in so you can learn um you know you can learn your shapes 
because um, Dr. Spies had, I believe, five children. and But I think a lot of these toys, some of them were from, from them and some of them were from his, Dr. Spies' grandfather. So we have some great Victorian toys as well. So we've got this cool jump rope and this Chinese checkers. And we have the checkers on another, on another table, but still. So this whole lot is $100 for all these games and toys, including Lincoln Logs, the extra long ones. Okay, so number 87 is $110, and that involves like this sailing ship, this cool truck or backhoe or ship, this this giant, it's like a castle game, and it's, it's like in here are the different little, um, all the different people, and there's all sorts of pieces to make the castle. And it's just a really cute, uh, it's a fort or a castle, and it's it, all the pieces are here. And then in addition, this vintage um, toy oven. Thank you, I forgot that word. Okay, so that whole set is 110. Okay, and then next we will go to this high chair. So this high chair is $20, and it is number 71. And it's, you know, we don't, we won't use this for our children today because um, th that would be very unsafe. But anyway, so if you have like a shop or, you know, you like, you know, a great place for dolls. Um, so that's that. And so the number 72 is this scale and it's $40. And it is what a boy should weigh, what a girl should weigh. And then the weights. And then you can kind of move this around you can kind of see it from a distance it's really really cute It'd be super cute as a display like in a baby room or something in a baby shop for a baby shower that would be so cute oh my gosh okay so here we are number 70 and this is a book table it's 50 dollars. it's really beautifully made it's an antique you can see with the um you know you can see that it's a really beautiful book table great for a library um, you know it's just really charming and it's a uh, uh, mission style I believe but I love that okay so now we've got this great big dresser now this is a huge sort of 70s style dresser which is item number 69 it is a um, hundred dollars but you know what I'm gonna change that price to fifty dollars because now that I look at it like I love this 70s I love this 70s look but I may be low alone in that but anyway so here is this great 70s dresser now we also have all of these different kinds of toys but they don't have numbers you're just gonna have to come to the sale or text me and tell me hey Catherine can I have that Raggedy Ann? Or, hey, Catherine, I want that really old Mamushka doll set. Or that monkey in the hat for $10 is really, really something I need. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's a little scary. But anyway, so we've got these really, really charming, really, really charming little sailor suits. Uh, the pair of them for $25. Um, I, they don't have a number either, but just say pair of sailor suits. Okay, now we've got this funky old green sofa. It is $10, but just imagine how fabulous you'll be when you're sitting on your great green sofa and you're saying to yourself, yes, Dr. Spies, I'm sure, thought up a lot of his most intriguing physical and engineering solutions while sitting on this green sofa. Maybe some of his smarts will emanate into you. For $10, that's not a bad thing. It really, really isn't. And it's actually, actually, it's extremely comfortable. It's just, sofas are a little hard to sell. Um, so we have all these game boards, but those don't have a number, but they're fun. Okay, so here is number 74. It is a dresser and it is $20. And you know, for like your first home or if you're into like this very mid-century, super simple design, um, this is great. Um, so it's only $20, I mean, which is great. Now we've got a twin bed here. I can sell the um, Harvard frame, which is the base, and the box spring, and we'll throw in the mattress for $50. And it is item number 75. 
because it's I can't sell the mattress. I can only give it away, but I, I need to sell the other pieces. Um, there's some great vintage fabrics and things, but those don't have a number. But what does have a number is this amazing number 76. It is a vintage crib for $50. And then with this crib, it is, I mean, it's really, really sweet. Look at those like curved lines. And just imagine like all the Spice babies were, were in this crib, you know, back in the 70s and 60s, 50s, some of them, probably, yeah. And um, anyway, it's just really, really nice. Um, okay, so then here is number 77 and is also a vintage playpen. And it is got the, you know, the dowels and the balls and everything. Get a distance so you can really see it. Very cute. Okay, so now we also have, um, just, just so you can see, you know, we've got a lot of children's records and books and um, a lot of the records are classical. There are a few jazz, but not really much to talk about. Um, some CDs, DVDs, um, that kind of thing. So again, here's Dr. Spies's cool laboratory hood from the old scripts for anybody who wasn't uh, paying attention earlier or weren't, wasn't online. So I just want to reiterate how this works is if you see something that you like, um, you can um, just text me or send me a message and I can't answer until um, we're done. But, um, but what you do is um, very simply just text me and say the number, write sold, and what it is, and after the whole video is over, I will send you an invoice and directions and every other information that you need. So here is number 96, and it is an old, Dr. Spies' old um, chalkboard, and it is, it may have something secret and super important written here in the chalk, which you'll have to discover on your own. Um, anyway, number 96 is 15. Now this item, is free, $105, and it's an old refrigerator. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Exactly. <laughs> of course, you have to take it out of here, but still, it's really great. Um, then we have number 104, which is $12, and it's this funky old fun stool and stepladder. All right, so we're going into, now a lot of the more expensive stuff comes later, but I sort of had to start on this side. So $103, $20 for this cool vintage a file cabinet, and then number 97, it is $20, and it's got a great, it's got a really great industrial look to it, this, this uh, file cabinet also, $20. Now we've got two of these boxes, it's number 98, and this is $90, each box, or actually it's $80, because each box is 40. Anyway, so um, so it's these different, you know, and they're they're great, and you can, you know, they've got a really rustic look to them. They're forty dollars each, but we're selling these two for, oops, uh, for ninety eighty dollars. Okay, so then next is this bookshelf. It's number ninety nine. It's twenty dollars, and it's a really sturdy, solid, clean lined bookshelf. And then this one, number one hundred is $20, and that is just another, again, another file cabinet, not as industrial looking as the others, but still really neat. Um, this is here, I don't know what it is, but the SIO people might be interested in that photograph. Um, anyway, so, oh, so we have, this next thing is really, really fun. It's these hand, they're, they're curtains, there's two of them, and they have a unicorn, they have a clown, a, giraffe, all sorts of circus animals um, on them. And then there's two, there's two of them and there's other different circus creatures and they're, you know, they've been well loved, but they're still really fabulous. And they, it's number item 102 for $20. Okay. And then I think I've done that. I think I've done number 103. It's another file cabinet. Okay, so now we've got this really, really cool industrial Dover can. It's number 82, it's $50, and it says Dover. And inside, like, 
they actually currently have rags, but it's just, it has like a nice industrial look. I'll go from a distance here so you can see. Um, and then we've got this um, number 106. It's $45 and it has, um, it's a mid-century teak little shelf. It's used out here in the garage, but I think, you know, it has some issues, which is why, you know, it's $45, but it, the house, a lot of the house has this similar kind of mid-century design. Okay, so now, oh, so then this wall, number 107, is a wall filled with brooms and cleaning things and wipers and mops and everything like that for $20. Okay, so now, now this over here, um, this is a toolbox and it's 108, it's $20 for just for like the wooden piece over here. And then, then if you wanna buy all of the tools, and I'll show you what they are, it's number 109 for $120, which is kind of a lot, but all the tools and all of the, the products go with it. So I'll sort of walk you through here. You get some cool aprons, you get some products, you get, you know, giant saws, loads of, you know, nails and hardware um you get um like some antique tools if you can see in there you basically get everything in here and this is like some old files and um oh and then you get this great big saw it's a um oh man it's electric I can't get it out, but oh, it's an old Stanley saw, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah. oh gosh, sorry guys. You get all sorts of um, sa things for sanding, yes. And then you get, gosh, and then you get whatever's in this bottom drawer. Kind of, I don't know if we can. I don't know if it's really a good set. Like, I don't know who's going to be buying this after we're like, God damn it, can't get that thing open. <laughs> but anyway, we tried. We tried. Yes, indeed. But we can open okay. It. Yes, but then, voila, inside the refrigerator. And this is evidence of Dr. Spies' genius or Sally Spies' genius. I will put credit where credit is due here. And you get all of these great chemicals and tools and I mean, seriously, is it brilliant? Like the freezer stops working and so what do you do? You use it as a tool cabinet. And that all again for $120 is number 109, $120. Okay, so now, okay, so what's gonna happen here is, okay, so now this desk, it is in the style of Jen's Rinsome, but I don't think it is Jen's Rinsome. Um, it had some additions that were added later it is item number 81, and it's $200. Um, like, this thing should be taken off, I think, um, because that was added later. But it is a combination of teak and sort of a painted metal. This is metal, not teak. Um, so, sorry. It's, look, I mean, honestly, if this was, like, in a showroom all alone, you'd be like, oh, my God, I need to buy that for $2,000. But the fact that it's in a dirty garage isn't helping it but then this thing so this is like sort of a semi-soft it's not stone initially I thought it was concrete um but it isn't it um it's it's some kind of a sort of a softer maybe like a linoleum on top of the on top of the desk so it's 250 dollars and it actually is really beautiful and beautifully made um it's 200 dollars sorry not 250 and it's Jen's Rinsome and it's really great Okay, so then over here is item number 112 for $10, and it's this rather well-loved ladder right there. And then item number 113 is $20, and it's this ladder, which I thought I sold yesterday, but I'm just not sure if I did or not. So that might already be sold, but I don't think it is. Um, okay, so now last thing we have out here in the garage is item number 110, and it's this really nice, charming little picnic table and it is twenty dollars and it's nice and old and has a good vintage look to it and okay so now as we've said 
So Dr. Spies died a while ago, and he is, um, oh wait, I'm sorry, number 115, $10. And so the house has been used as like a family house, just like where all the kids and cousins and everybody comes and hangs out. And now it's being, um, what they're doing is they are fixing it up. So everything, I, I just want to apologize because it normally, it looks a little bit messy because we've been working in here and everything. So, but it's actually such a fantastic house. It was designed by Russell Forrester, sort of a very significant California um, California architect and it's just a really cool house it's just not showing very nicely but anyway so here is number item number 86 and this is it's 160 and it's for everything on the table which is this huge boho collection of baskets and all these seashells and baskets and uh, the arts not included um, but um, and then, and then this old, um, banjo is also not included, but it's basically everything that is woven on this. There's like maybe seven hats, you know, and it's $160. So separately is the banjo, which is $40. Um, but so if you're interested in that, um, it's an antique banjo and it doesn't, you know, it's pretty rough, but... Um, it's got that nice detail there, but it's pretty old as well, you know. Um, I might be, my pricing might be really off on that little banjo, but. Okay, so now, so we've got number 118, and these are a bunch of shutters for $20. And I can think of a couple people who might actually need these who live also in mid-century houses that I know. So number 18, and there's one, there's like, one set of three and one set of two. So sorry, it's very bright out here, so the, the contrast is kind of tricky and it's a little bit hard for me to see. But um, so we've got, okay, we'll start here. This is number 85 and it is a English writing tray. It's got the antique work in red which is really rare but it's got the the hunt stuff this is not from the Spies estate just to be clear um, this is number 85 and it is four hundred dollars and it's a it's an antique um, from an old American family another state sale that we did so here is number 84 now this is a mid-century day bed it's two hundred and fifty dollars I did see one yesterday that sold out of um, San Marcos on first dibs that sold for like almost $3,000. Admittedly, they had, you know, reupholstered it and everything, but it's got these, this, it's, it's got this interesting slats underneath there. There's no name on it, but it, it, I was told it came out of Denmark to California, $250. And it's really great. It's got the tapered leg. I mean, it's just a fantastic piece for $250. Um, okay, and then we've got this really beautiful tapestry. It's uh, hand woven by um, the artist is Susan Hart, sorry, Henniger. It's called Morning Clouds and Abusan Tapestry, and it was made in 1979. It's $300, and it is item number 142 for $300. And then, so another piece we have that didn't come from the sale, but was appropriate, was number 117, it's $80, and it is a Tory pine tree by an artist by the name of Laird Plumley, a tile artist who does all the, the tile work for, you know, when tiles break at Balboa Park or USD, you know, how beautiful they are, those tiles. Anyway, so he, he did that, and then here is item number 119 for $300, and it is a teak screen, original to the house. Um, it's a slat screen. Russell Forrester used these, I think, a lot. Um, originally, this one had a third piece. We only have two of the pieces, um, but it is in great shape for what it is, although there is a little bit of rust. You know, we're right here on the ocean in La Jolla, so a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's not made out of, you know, wood gets pretty rusty. 
Okay, so we will move now to these. Uh, those dresses I think are sold. I'm not sure I haven't been paid yet, but I think they're sold. So we'll start over here. Um, okay, so we've got another Chris Chrysler for $50. It's number 130. And then we've got number 121 for $150. And that is everything that's on this tabletop, which includes a big wood dance tray, some dance candles, a red lacquer Kleenex box, tons of um, different types of, you know, of, of interesting mid-century items, clay pots. If anybody likes clay pot cooking, and I love clay pot cooking. This is a walnut novelty, but look at that great shape. It's so like funky 70s, top heavy, fabulous. Oh, there's this gorgeous um, woven ice bucket. It's like, imagine taking that down to the beach, like, darling, let me pour you some champagne or something. What, is, what would they drink in the mid-century? Cocktails, I don't know, probably. Ooh. Whiskey and soda, old fashions, but that wouldn't be the right thing to carry it in. But in any case, so also included in this lot are like this tray. It's made by Korok. Um, this, you know, just tons of these fun. I mean, like, look at that. How charming is that with those birds? Let's see, I don't It's a really fun cheese Jeez. tray. Hmm? It's a really fun cheese tray, too. Oh, yeah, totally. A great cheese tray. That was cool. Oh, and that look with the mice. Oh, that's so funny. And it's also Karak. That's really great. That's totally, that would be, that's a very whimsical piece, right? For your, for your party on the, on the, you know, on the patio, your very, very small party because of COVID. So here is that one. Okay, so that again was number 121 for $150 for all of that stuff. All of it, all of it, all of it. Okay, so here is number 122. And this is a collection of Lifewear. Um, it is like, you know, melamine pieces that just never are indestructible, completely indestructible. And that is 42. And it includes these pieces also, which are yellow and white additionally. And then, so then we've got this entire, this is item number 123, and those are two Bauer bowls, but it's for basically everything on this table, $60, which is a really, really good price. These are Dansk, these green and white, or Ironstone, Giovanni Valdarno. I thought, you know, I thought they were Dansk, but there was something else that was Dansk. Anyway, um, so you've got this whole entire table filled with... Um, a rather interesting collection of housewares. There's a charming thing. I mean, these two are both Bauer, or this says um, USA, and then this this one says Bauer, USA. 18. I think these are separate, right? 60 for the two Bowers. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's 60 for the two Bowers. And then everything else is does not have a price yet. But here is number 124. It's 50. And you get a cool old... What is that thing? It's like a food chopper. Yeah, a meat grinder. A meat grinder. An old um, mix master made by General Electric. Um, all these, just all these different interesting things some I don't know what that is but then all this glassware oh, this acrylic, uh, ice oh an and acrylic so. ice bucket very beautiful yes all this is included in that $50 get this you know suspode gravy. gravy thank you I'm, I need like a word prompter and I'm so glad I have one <laughs> because it's a little now this one says doorknobs but I don't know what that is actually so anyway that makes it more difficult so number 126 is thirty dollars and it's this huge collection of vintage um, kitchen wares you know for you know all sorts of different kinds of vintage uh, kitchen things that's number 126 and here oh is item number 125 and this is a collection of items from Ikea and it's $15, item number 125 for $15. This is a whole box filled of Ikea stuff. 
And then we move on to item number 127 for $15. And this is a large lot of uh, cookie sheets and tins for tarts and mid-century display things. Just a lot of, you know, great stuff. Okay, now here's number 128. It's $10. And it is pie tins. Uh, this cool stuff, an old colander, that's all $10. Now here is item number 129, it's $10 and it's a whole box filled with, oh, oh that's cute, the Safari Park, um, water dishes, plastic pieces, um, any kind of thing you would need for, for that. I'm gonna sort of walk you through this next bit, it's not for sale. Is it the painting? It's this one. Yeah, it's right. Oh, it's just right over. It's all painting. Yeah. Over here. Now this, um, Rebecca, hi Rebecca, if you're out there, was working yesterday. Oh no, you know who it was? It was Gina. And Rebecca normally tells us what things are if we don't know. But Gina told us this is for canning and it's a big enamel blue pot. So these guys don't have numbers, but this is all going to be here at the sale. So if you want any of this stuff, these are some original lights from the house. Dr. Forrester, um, or not Dr. Forrester, but Russell Forrester had originally put those lights up. Um, so this is all just additional stuff that's at the sale tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to go back inside, but I just kind of wanted to give you a feeling for what we've got. We've got some old shoes. We've got a lot of succulents. Um, I mean, when I said old shoes, I meant old clogs, like, you know, like that. And some old seashells, like great abalone and stuff like that. And that pool does not that look so great. Don't you want to just jump in there? I do. It is hot today out here where we are. Okay, so now we're back inside. Okay, so item number 134 is $600. And it involves this vase. It's Chinese with that red Chinese China stamp. Here is the view of it all the way around. Okay, now this is also included. It is the, this is all from the Qing Di Qing Dynasty. This piece as well. Let's see, it's hard for me to turn it, but yeah, if you don't mind. Um, and then let's go underneath there so you can see also Qing Dynasty. There are no breaks or anything or, you know, issues on that. And then, then these two, then we have two small matching ginger jars that are also in the $600 thing. It's fun. It's like little boys playing. I think it's probably the motif of 100 boys. Um, and that's what it looks like. And then the lid, because one of the lids actually has a crack. Um, and I believe it's this one. Yeah. And also please note that it is not, we have not, uh, cleaned it because we didn't have access uh, to water here for a little bit. So then here is the other one. Do you mind holding that? Um, and this is also the hundred boys motif. This is the second ginger jar. So these four pieces together are, um, you know, and this one's got the red china stamp, which dates it, and that one. So it's so cute. So only, so one has like a crack through the lid, but um, otherwise, so those three, it's number 134 is $600. Now, item number 135 is $200, and we've got these two soapstone uh, figures. This guy, or three of them actually, oh, they're, well, they're, let's see. So this guy is... I mean, just the, the soapstone, the coloring is really, really beautiful. They're very old. They have some holes drilled in the bottom. Um, and then this one, like, look at his beard. I mean, he's so, he's old, but he's really fine. And he's soapstone. I mean, he's really well made, really beautifully done. So $200 for that, plus this soapstone Buddha right here. Um, and take the tag off of his head, because that's kind of disrespectful. We don't want to disrespect him at all. But anyway, there he is. But it's interesting the way they did the, the change of the coloration in the soapstone, because you don't see that a lot. Um, 
and it's they're just very very sweet so on the table here are some other items that are that are for sale but they're um, like for instance this very sweet little um, if you are a collector of Royal Dalton we've got the pug you know the 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 Winston Churchill um, Royal Dalton it does have a couple cracks which is why it's priced at a hundred but it's really super charming and cute so this other stuff is all at the sale but we don't have a special number for it but item number 133 is $150 so each of these vases are basically like 75 and they're really beautiful and on here is a letter from um, the grandmother and it says it's talking about how these were a wedding present and how they were during the Victorian age, and they're, they're in perfect shape, and how she remembers dusting them from when she was a girl. But isn't that, like, look at how delicate that is. It's so nice. I love that. These are really, really beautiful pieces. They've got the ruffled pink glass, and they're, I mean, really, if you, if you like Victoriana, like, I think that that's, like, a really amazing thing. And then also, I'm just gonna put a shout out to anybody out there who knows about this because I do not know what this is. So, okay, so this is a really charming but broken piece of porcelain. Underneath it are these two little, you know, what, I mean, what is this for? What is it for? I do not know, do you know? I don't, know. I, don't I can't figure it out because I would think salt and pepper, but then I would be like, why would you hide it? inside a porcelain situation mm, um, it could be snuff that's a good idea that was anybody else just throw out some uh, throw out <laughs> some some, um, ideas. some ideas for us okay so here we go we've got some okay so now this is a huge collection number 132 is 400 dollars and it is a ton of toy soldiers um, we've got uh, these are okay so there are possibly this you know just they're they're english and or these are yeah like scottish i think because they're wearing the kilts and they're this batch is 40 dollars, but altogether we're selling this lot for 400 which is what is the way it's going to be sold um and in it i will count the amount of soldiers there are and horses and everything once i get off because somebody was asking me but um, if you have any questions about this, if you wanna buy all the, four, the military stuff, it'll be $400 and it's item number 32. I know we have George Washington and a lot of it are Britons. So these are vintage toy cars and it's $30. Okay, so now we're on to this antique uh, radiator. It's 41 and it is $75. Because it gets cold here, you know, it does. Anybody who... Anybody who lives around here knows, but this is like an antique, an antique radiator for 75. And then here is item number 131, and it's $100 for three vintage suitcases. And they're all, you know, I mean, nothing is perfect, you know, but all of it has been well loved. But part of its fabulousness is that it's, you know, from the estate of such a noted, such, I mean, a person that really, really changed the face of like how we look at the ocean and, you know, had made huge strides in like how we look at issues of global warming and things like that. Not to be a preacher, but I'll be one. <laughs> I'll preach away. So here's item number 42. It's an oil burning radiator and it is by... Polonis, and it is $50. And there's another one here. It doesn't have a number, but it is also a Honeywell Energy Smart. Aha, number 43. And, um, and, oops, okay. And then here is item number 44, and it is a trunk, and it's $100, and it's this great old vintage trunk. I mean, it looks, it's so cute. It's got so much character. It's really, you know, and I actually have not looked inside. I think it's empty, but you get whatever's in there. So that is a bit of a, you know, treasure chest, right? Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to start and we're going to walk around the room. So here is, there are these nine mid-century posters and these are really interesting because they were, it's, it's called Learning Machines Created by Edmund Casarella for International Science and Technology, November 1962. Now, these different images um, are 
as we, Susan's gonna kind of scroll through them. These all were, um, you know, these are poster paper, basically. Um, and they're all by different artists. And they were all done in 1962. And they all have like a great mid-century vibe to them. And any of them could be made into pictures, just frame them, and, but they're just strong and you won't find these images because I hunted everywhere for international science and technology and I could not find. But like these are just all fantastic, they're all frame worthy. Um, yeah, and so the total on this was, was 120. It's item number one and it's $120. But those are, those are great. So we've got a lot more pictures. We have so many books and bookshelves. Um, you'll have to come to the sale for the majority of that. But item number three are these Native American baskets. There's five for $150. And you can see the different types of baskets there are. And then, so that's number three. Now number two is this piano. It's $150 and you get the piano and the bench and it's totally working. I don't know when it was last tuned, but I do know that all the keys work. Very beautiful. It is made by Weber. Susan's tickling the ivories for us over there. Okay, and so then he, oh, I'm sorry, it's not $150. Oh yes, it is $150, number two. Number six is this great royal typewriter. It is an antique, it's a Smith Corona. Actually, not a royal, my apologies. Um, and it is $150 and it is really, really nice. And it comes in this really this fantastic case, all original, very authentic, $150. Okay, so now going down here, now these this collection right here, is sixty dollars, and what it is is some dresses. They're they're it, they're they're vintage flapper dresses, and they're beautiful silk. I mean, they were originally just, but they are really falling apart. They're really like becoming like rags now. But the thing about them is, is that they're really, really, really lovely. You know, I mean, like, look at that. So gorgeous. If somebody could use this pattern and recreate this beautiful dress. Um, now, this is a this is number nine. So there's there's like three of these vintage flapper dresses. I'm going to ask Susan to hold this one up because this one is so beautiful, but it is literally falling to shreds as we are standing here. Um, it is it is so pretty, um, but I think it's kind of I think it's. I think it's really just to be used as a pattern, you know, because look at that. It's like an Aztec pattern. And it's so pretty. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a really, really beautiful piece with beads. I mean, it's just, it's it's something that would need to be, like, back when I lived in New York, they had this great vintage textile show, and, and people would come in there and then rebuild, like, the big designers would come in and rebuild the vintage pieces. I want somebody like that for this stuff, because it's, I, I hate, it, you know, it's just heartbreaking to see these beautiful things just go to waste. But honestly, there nobody, you can't do anything with them unless you just use them as patterns or use pieces of lace and like make a beautiful piece of art with the lace or something. Um, I think I'll go lower on this because it's just, I'll say like all three pieces for like $20 just because they're so, I mean, look at that lace, like look at that. It's, I mean, the work. Anyway, so, so this will be number nine, vintage flapper dresses, very damaged for, what did I say, 20? Yeah. Okay, so now this is really cool, this next thing. So now if you guys, if anybody in the military out there, this is got, you know, this is like the captain's hat. It is $150, and it's Dr. Fred Spies, who was Mr. Fred Spies at the time. So that's just that. Um, but now number eight is the military hats, which includes that captain's hat. And it's also this like, as, as our sweet lady, um, Rebecca reminded us yesterday, does anybody remember the Shirley Temple where she was wearing this hat, tap dancing up the stairs? <laughs> it was very cute. And then also this is the third hat that goes for $200. Oops. 
and this is this is also i believe a captain's hat but it doesn't have the like fancy gilded thread and it, it you know it's been through a little bit more but he was in world war ii you know let's honor those guys you know for real because you know i mean our country would be nothing without those great warriors from world war ii so then we have next is a large trunk of um of different clothing from world war ii and it is i don't believe i have done it oh here we go yeah so it's number seven it's military clothes for 140 and thrown in is this great um, past commander with these big, fantastic buttons um, Piedmont California you know I shouldn't be I sounded so like let me tell you we need to honor those guys but I should honor those guys. I shouldn't tell anybody else what to do. So sorry about that for being kind of preachy. I think I started it with the with the discussion of global warming and now I'm just getting started. <laughs> but anyway, so there's all these cool uh all these cool pairs of pants. Like I wish, you know, like I swear to God I would wear this. This is so like singing in the rain. Like where's Gene Kelly? Like he should be, you know, get some bleach and then do some serious tap dancing. Right? <laughs> And then, oh, look at this here, this one. Oh, how cute is this? Like, I love, like, I gotta get farther away. Look, I mean, seriously, like for 140 for all of these really cool, like World War II sailor suits, I mean, dang, I love it. And then this neat, it's like a tunic. It's like a cotton, really strong cotton tunic. Um, sailor tunic, I don't understand that hood, but what is that thing? just like a oh no oh yeah it's like a sorry it's a collar it's not a, it's not a I'm so used to a hoodie I'm like wait a minute that's not a hood that's just like a cool collar that looks great yeah. right and then we also have some dark pants some black pants I think or navy blue right and then another pair of those white like sailor pants all together in this cool trunk for $140 all that neat stuff Okay, so next is item number 10, and it's this small fold-down table. It's $30, folds up, it's wood, it's on both sides. Like, you'll notice how in the flap there, the wood is really nice. So that's number 10 at $30. And then, oh, now this doesn't have a number, but this is the, this is like a more recent, uh, I think. But it's a, this guy was a rifleman, he was a, it's from a different sale. But I thought it was sort of appropriate to do here. This jacket, this green jacket is $50. Okay. And then, okay, so this is item number 12. And it's $150 and a collection of Super 8 and 8 editing supplies and a projector and um, film cans, all these things. This is a, a dual 8 slide projector, an F8S automatic, some film reels, um, an editing suite here, a little splicer editing suite, um, and then this, which is a personal film cutter. Okay, so all that stuff for $150. Now, everything here on the top shelf is of can these are antique cameras and it's $150. Do you mind opening up some of these? Sure. So we'll start with this one. This is all $150. This is a ViewMaster stereo camera. Then plus you get this Canon. This is all film cameras, of course. Um, the AE1 Canon. This fun old vintage Filmo Sportster. There's this brownie camera, and then there's another brownie camera that's behind the thing. Here's a Kodak, really cute, and, and it has a leather case. And then we've got this, uh, this film camera. I mean, like, seriously, like, how great is this? I mean, just imagine, like, it's probably some of the most important ocean, oceanographic, oceanographic things were filmed with some of these cameras back in the day. You know, it's such an honor to be out, allowed to do this sale, um, this tripod. Okay, and then this, uh, this is a, this is, oh gosh, this camera doesn't have a name, but it's one of those. Um, it's like it must pull up. Yeah, it has a, yeah. 
Well, anyway, that's really great. So anyway, the whole box is 150 plus the other brownie camera that fell over the shelf. Um, and then there's number 14, and this is the second shelf. And this is $120 for this. These are more contemporary cameras, like a Polaroid, a Sankyo video camera, a flash by... Um, a Kodak uh, film roll tank, a vintage film tank, um, a daylight uh, film canister thing. This thing is actually really cool. It's a diaphot, if anybody knows what one of those are. And all of these different pieces here. Here's another um, one of those cameras that pulls out. Uh, and this has Dr. Spies's name on it, which makes it extra cool. It's one of these. It also pulls out, but I just don't know how to get it. It's a Zeiss icon. And there are several pieces that go with that. So also, so like, just so you guys know, if you don't want to buy it online or you just want to buy a single piece, just come tomorrow and you can. And then on Saturday also. Um, so we've got these boxes. Now this is a new number here, but, uh, but that's just... Third shelf. The third shelf, and I don't think, oh, the third shelf was number 15, and it's $30. Sorry, so that's, let's start fresh here. This is number 15, third shelf, $30, and it involves these, like, fun old boxes and some film containers to carry your camera in. Okay, so here is number 16. It's a dresser, and it's $25, and it's wood, and it's fun and great and was in Dr. Spies's house. It's a little tricky. It's a little W. -2. Right? Needs some W. -2. Here's number 17 and it's the top of the drawer and it's $65 and it involves a Sanko Sound 500 film projector, this slick tripod, uh, all of these fantastic alarms and then this really neat old vintage uh, recorder with a microphone and it's made by Craig. It's got the cool, like, you know. I'm interviewing you for the Sunday Times. So that whole batch is $65 and it is number 17. So this, now, I really need one of my scientists to come and tell me and help me with this one because it's a PG and Co lens for $100. It's number 18. Um, it's got these numbers on it. It's a convex, a large convex lens. I don't know what it was used for. Um, and I really honestly don't know how to price it. So I put $100 on there, but if, it, if it's worth less or worth more and you can show me, um, I'll sell it for lower. So here is number 19. It's a shoe shine kit for $15. It's fun and rustic. Here is item number 20. It is a globe for $40. It's fun and beautiful, made out of paper. It's got this great stand. Okay, so here is night item number 121. It's an Albert Wong pot um, uh, for $50. It does have a crack, just so people who are, you know, looking at it will see that. And then there's also a crack there. Um, so it is like a mid-century, looks like uh, Maxwell um, or Cressy. Um, it's a fantastic looking piece um, for $50. Um, and there is a signature on the bottom that says, I, it's Albert Long, Albert Long, I'm not sure. And then next we've got item number 141. And these are two andirons, they're $90. And what's the coolest thing about these is back, you know, in the, in the old California days, these are the first andirons that were ever in a post office, like in the Cal California's first post office had these andirons in it. And they're so cute, like look at that leg, that's so cute. And you know, and these, I mean, these are just great. They're a piece of history and a piece of California history, you know, which we wanna celebrate. Okay, so then next we've got this. This is from another estate, but it's by Jacques Camin. It's number 140 and it's $400. It's a it's really, really charming painting, um, an oil by Camens for $400. And then next we have item number 22 and Marnie Leader 
Art, or Lieber, L-E-B-E-R, um, when we were doing this, and it's $50, Marnie Ross Lieber, and they're really cute, on burlap, very 70s, just really charming. Now this next piece um, doesn't have a number, but this is important. Um, it is an antique pewter whale oil lamp, and it was, um, it's got the amber glass, it's really gorgeous. Now this piece is sold, actually the piece behind it is already sold, but um, okay, so we'll move down here on to this item number 24. It's a Persian rug for $495. Um, just text me and I will open it up for you if you want to see it. But it was authenticated by Sean at Prospect Rugs. And, um, and so like retail, this rug would sell for about a thousand. Um, and it's just a really beautiful piece. I mean, it's got the great navy blues. It's got the dark rose colors. Um, so and the seal, oh, here's the size. It is 52 by 70. It's item number... 24. Okay, so an item number 25 was, is this rug, it's 150, and it is a wool rug made in Pakistan. Um, that The first one was Persian hand done. This is machine made, um, but it's plush and it's $150. This one, number 26, is a runner. It's $70 and it has, it's very clean and it's got these, you know, these very warm colors in it would work in a lot of different houses. If you text me, I will give you the measurements. And then here's just some more of the stuff that we have that doesn't have numbers. Um, now we're at this piece, number 28. It's a painting of the Menlo Coast for $120. It's very beautiful. The back of it, here, oh, if you don't mind holding that. It says light and fog, Menlo Coast, oil. It looks to be done by Helen C. Stanz, S-T-A-N-Z, but it's a really, really pretty piece. Um, it's got, you know, some, some age spots on the back, but the front of it looks, I mean, it's really, it's a really, the colors are fantastic. The light is really, really good. Okay, so next we've got item number 29, and it's this rolling wood mid-century chair you know, Dr. Spies sat in this chair. So if you want to have like smart thoughts like Dr. Spies, <laughs> you will get this chair. And it is number 29. And I have had, let me tell you, I have sat in this chair and I've had many thoughts that were shocking and so far beyond what I normally could think of, you know? I'm just saying it has a sort of, so I'm going to say it's a magical chair. Now don't hold me to it, but... I'm telling you, it's a very good chair. Here's item number 30. It is $20 and it's a cabinet. And it's just, you know, it's it's just a simple cabinet, um, but you can find. It's really good. Okay, now here is item number 32. And these are the Waverly novels by Sir Walter Scott. And there's 47 books. They're leather bound and for $300 and they're numbered. Here's, here's one batch, and then here's the rest of them. There's 47 of them, and we're selling them for $300 total. We are also selling these book boxes. Um, these are $40 each. There's three of them. Um, and this is item number 31, and it's three wooden boxes at 120 without the books. That's just... But they're beautiful. Ooh, uh oh. I don't want to back up too fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so did I not? I don't think I put a number on these guys, but these are also for sale at the regular sale. This is a these are this is a neat folio of Rembrandt's etchings. Um, just really, you know, beautiful, high quality etchings. You know, the whole folio. There's probably, I don't know, twenty or more oh, yeah, in there. More maybe maybe like fifty even. Yeah. But they're really nice. Okay, and so then here we go. This uh, this table, it's called a Bruner's Oakland table. It is $75 if you just want to text me that. So again, I'm just going to be, I'm going to repeat, even though I've said this several times, is um, I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page and you're not confused if you want to buy something. So you can either send me a text here 
or send me a text on my regular phone, my regular phone number, which is 858-333-1853, and tell me what you want. And if it doesn't have a number, just describe it. Just say, hey, you know, that table that you said was Bruner, it had the glass knobs. It was like around this point in the video. Um, so just tell me that and then um, and then send me a text or send me a message here on Facebook. And then as soon as we're done, I will send you an invoice or I will answer your question and give you a price. Um, and then so tomorrow we're going to be open to the regular public, but we're only allowing like 10 people in at one time because of COVID. So we're trying to sell as much as we can ahead of time to try to stop the amount of people or keep the amount of people to a minimum who come to the sale because Dr. Spies has so many interesting things. I mean, literally he's got to have like 2000 books and we can't, we're not even touching that. We're not even beginning to go through that because it's just too hard. So tomorrow people, there'll probably be a lot of booksellers here tomorrow, book buyers. Um, but also if you want something and you're like, whoa, that's just way out of my price range, you can send me an offer. And then on Saturday, you know, we will, potentially uh, sell things, you know, for, for, you know, we'll look at offers basically is what we'll be doing on Saturday. So you can send me that information now say, Hey, if you know, blah, 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 doesn't sell uh, this number, I would like to offer this amount of money. Um, okay. So back to the sale. Here is item number 34. It is a Singer sewing machine. It's $200. It's model 401A. And, oh, here we go. And this is what it looks like. It's got that cool streamlined design from the 1940s. Works, I've been told. So, and then you also get this additional, these additional pieces that go with it. And then this, like item number 35, it, this Santa, he's $50. And I know that seems crazy and extreme, but he lights up. So he's really fabulous. And he, uh, he, 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 He's electric and he is so happy. I mean, seriously, he's not a scary Santa. He's not like an evil clown. He's like that, that face. It's like his, of course, he probably is going to have a heart attack with those red cheeks, but honestly, he looks good. <laughs> so here is number 37. Oh, somebody is outside. Oh, so do you mind? Bookshelf. Yeah. Um, and this is a bookshelf. It's $40. Um, and it is, let's see here. It is $40. It's a nice bookshelf. All these books are going to be for sale. So if there's something specific, you know, that you want. And then here is item number 38. This bookshelf is also $40. I mean, that would be a nice thing. Like stick that in your office and be like, well, this did belong to Dr. Spies. And here is this bookshelf, number 40, also for $20. We have a lot of bookshelves at this sale because this man has a lot of books. Okay, and then here is item number 36, and this is an office chair. It's $20, very straightforward, actually very comfortable, very good for thinking those serious thoughts. Okay, and then we've got this pickled wood, which I love, this pickled wood bookshelf, and it is $40. It's number 45. It's a two-level but it looks, it looks great in those like lighter mid-century houses. There's, you know, a place, couple places you'll want to touch up, you know. And, okay, so here is item number 46. And this shelf is also $40. And I'm also giving you a chance to kind of get a feel for the books that we've got here. You know, because this was Dr. Spies' house, it was his wife's house, it was his kid's house. There's a lot of different people who lived here over the years. Now this bookshelf is number 47, it's $50, and this is bigger. It's got some more like, it's less uh, minimalist, you know, it's got the sweet like antique curve of the wood, you know, probably from the 50s, um, $50. And then here is item number 136. Now this is all this mid-century pottery that we've got. We've got this pot. And you can kind of see it's got it's blues and browns and it is has a name in pencil that looks like s can you read that s a a something yeah it's just it's it, but it is a really beautiful pot i gotta say and then this piece is also included it's a little pitcher and it's got a signature um 
that's the signature, which is, again, harder to read than I would like. And then this little pot is also in the $70 batch. That looks like maybe it was somebody, Dory's, or Dorothy, or Doy, maybe somebody's child in 1965. Or, you know, actually, but that's hard to do. So mm -hmm. I don't think it was a child. But anyway, so here is item number 138. It's $250, and it's by an artist by the name of Hazel Rakestraw. Now, her husband was a professor of chemistry here at UCSD, but she really should be in the San Diego canon because I've done other estate sales here in La Jolla Farms of like old professors who, you know, got their property through the incredible generosity and kindness of Ellen Browning Scripps. Uh, these she donated the land, at least I think this is what the story is. She donated the land to UCSD and then UCSD was able to sell at a price that people could afford, the professors could afford to live in La Jolla. There was talk of like redlining and in La Jolla back in the old days where they tried to keep certain people out. Um, and that is part of the story that I've heard from this family. But anyway, so I want to say thank you to Scripps for, you know, for, for Ellen Browning Scripps because honestly, like, she's she's a huge huge benefactor to san diego so here is number 139 and it's 50 dollars. it's also by marnie uh, lieber or marnie marnie ross if you're looking her up she did a lot of these like burlap craft pieces okay so here is item number 137 it's ten dollars and it's all these copper pieces or, co or like a silvered brass you know, a lot. this one has a lot of interesting, you know, birds and uh, maybe it's a phoenix, maybe it's Chinese. I'm not sure. Hard to tell because there is some wear, you know, because we are so close to the ocean. And then these pieces, I believe this is silver plate. And, you know, some of these are, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty rough shape. But this is a beautiful copper piece, and it has um, a Chinese, it's a Chinese antique here. Um, okay. So then we move on to um, this little bookshelf. It's number 49 for $29. It's really cute. And all these books that will be available tomorrow. And then we've got this lamp. It looks like a March lamp, and it's number 50, and it's $50, and it's got a cool, it's got the, you know, burlap shade, but it's not, you know, but it's large. It's a very large lamp from a distance. You can see it. Okay. And then here is item number 51. It's a rake straw painting, also by Hazel Rake Straw, because her husband lived out here. They lived in the pro near the property. So it's item $350, Hazel Rake Straw. I want her to get the attention of like, you know, like a James Hubble or somebody like that, but that's her signature. Cause she's like, you know, she's a great painter, I think. Okay, so this is a Danish modern bookshelf. Um, I'm gonna make it at 50, not 100. It's number 52. Um, so you can kind of get a look at it. And you can look at the books that are here. So then we've got, so we've got two of these great big bookshelves for $80. This is number 53. Let me, let me go from a distance so you can kind of get to see the size of it. So that's $80. And then the one next to it. So there's two of them. That one's $80. So if you wanted the pair, it would be $160. And uh, that's number 54 bookshelf. Okay. We've got all sorts of interesting books. And again, the books are like $5 a piece starting tomorrow with the leather bound uh, books are 15. Um, we're starting high just because uh, each individual book has not been assessed. So this is number 56. It's a bookcase with doors, the glass doors, very charming. There you go, item number 54. And then item number 55, it's the mitered edge shelf. Uh, it's $40. Um, and it's filled with encyclopedias. And then over here, we've got this little uh, dresser. It is number 59, I believe, and it is $75 for, you know, $75. It's a two-level mid-century, very simple, very plain. And then we've also got, like, a lot of paintings, a lot of artwork. 
that are it's you know going to be here for sale so here is item number 58 it's a rake straw painting let me get it in focus and it's it's again like this one is actually my favorite thing in the whole sale it's 250 dollars it's abstract expressionism it's la jolla it's so good you know I just think, you know, and it, and I, these, like, they just, it feels like La Jolla in the olden days, you know, back when, when, um, you know, back when there were just, when, when Del Mar and La Jolla were just like filled with professors and professors' kids and everybody was so smart and kind of crazy, you know, <laughs> back at, back in the old days, back in the seventies. But, um, but let's see, there's all sorts of things in here that we're going to be selling, but none of this stuff is numbered just because it's just like housewares and things like that. Some good Swedish stuff, you know, the, the family, I, they, they probably had like some kind of, uh, somebody in the family, I think had some kind of a Belgian or Swedish family roots. Yeah. Heritage. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So we've got, here's item number 59. And it is a mat, it's the box spring. I'm selling for a hundred. It's a queen size. It is not super new. Um, actually, I'm gonna sell that for 50. And then item number 60 is $15 for this hamper. And that's fun, especially for you like Boho, the Boho crew. Um, we have a bunch of vintage clothes, but these don't have numbers. A lot of them are really cute, you know, like from the 50s, like big skirts, but there's, there's some damages on a lot of these clothes. Um, you know, they've cute. Oh, I love that. I didn't even see that. That's so, I love that. Like with your penny loafers and your little tartan skirt as you go off falls and you're, around the corner. huh? Falls around exactly. The corner. Exactly. <laughs> fall is around. Here's your house coat. Yes. Oh my gosh. So cute. So each of these pieces are like $10, you know, I love that with your like sweater set. It's like love story, you know? Okay, so then, okay, so then the son of Helen um, Spies is an artist. And so this is his painting. He's actually a really significant artist in New York. Um, but this is one of his earlier works. It is $200 and it is massive. It's a massive blue wall. It's probably six feet by eight feet. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it is $200. Um, I will get his name or, you know, if anybody in the, in the Spies family is watching, can you please text me his name? Okay. So here is 161. This is a queen size bed and we are selling not the mattress. We're selling just the box spring and the frame, frame. and that is a hundred dollars. So then some more of um, Chris Chrysler's paintings. Oh, we've got this Electrolux vacuum for those of you who love Electrolux vacuums. And I think that's about 80. We've got a lot of the pieces there. So let me see, I'm kind of running out of juice, so I'm gonna try and sort of speed it up a little bit. Um, so we've just, you know, we have a lot of like housewares. Okay, so the last room in the house is, um, I think anyway, um, item number 63, this is a bedside table and it's $20. It's wood, chairs. They're $100 each and they're fun and they're comfortable and they're tweed. One is number 65 and one is number 64. And they're actually in remarkable, good sh remarkable shape for what they are. You know, considering how old they are, they were probably here when the house was built. So like you can see, like the genius of, you know, of Russell Forrester, you know, like his, like all the, all the details, all the architectural details. Um, anyway, so here is number 167. It is a headboard for $80. It's a queen size, mid-century, very simple, very, um, but it's not um, Paul McCobb. Here is number 66, and it is a little refrigerator. It actually works for $20, and this is great for a dorm, if somebody's got that, or like a little apartment. Um, oh, here is a Danby designer gas stove, a little tiny one. I think it's like 30 inches or 24 inches wide. It's number 68, and it's a gas stove, works. and it works, which is like fantastic. I mean, I love that stove. It reminds me of a lot of fun times. Um, okay, so I think we've done everything. I think so. 
I think we've done just about everything. So um, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna send you all um, a text um, or a message, um, basically outlining what the price is, um, you know, because I have to add tax, how to pay, if you pay with Zelle or Venmo, there's no additional fees, but if you use a credit card or PayPal, we have to have a couple of additional fees. Um, and, you know, just text me if you need more information or if you wanna make an offer, we can do that too. So thank you all so much for watching this. And, um, and we'll talk to, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.